Okay, I'm back now and I have um, set up an old droid, which is uh, right here. So that's going fine. And now Raspberry Pi performance is out the window. So you see immediately that it's actually a lot faster. Uh, interestingly enough, it's only using about 40% of the CPU, uh, which is also the case on the Raspberry Pi. So I really don't know how to make it, you know, squeeze out 100% or uh, I was sort of expecting it to, to use like 90%, but it's, um, it runs between 40 and 50% of the CPU power. But of course you can see that it's much more usable now. I'll try to uh, move things about a bit. And uh, still a bit laggy, of course, but this is a this demo uses WebGL and it's actually pretty pretty hardcore. But uh, let's close that up and let's uh, try Bassoon. Of course, I, I haven't connected any speakers or anything, but uh, it should it should work pretty well. Open and uh, guitar slinger, that's the classic. And play. Yeah. That's pretty good. So, yeah, it's a completely different uh, experience altogether. You know, it's, uh, it moves around pretty quick. You can use the drives. Yeah. So, if I'm going to make an embedded application or uh, some sort of a kiosk device, for example, I would, uh, you know, there's really no comparison here. I mean, I will go for the Odroid. But there are more devices on the menu. So next we're going to try the Tinkerboard, uh, which should actually be even faster than this. The problem with the Tinkerboard is that the drivers are extremely poor. You know, they, uh, for some reason, you know, it's almost like they're blocking, you know, the power that the device has. But uh, we will see. So we're now going uh, gone through, you know, the Raspberry Pi. This is the Odroid, and now we're going for the Tinkerboard. Okay, let's go. <laughs> 